guys, this is Kelly with Metter Marketing. I wanted to show you today how to connect the Pardot WordPress plugin into your WordPress instance. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the dashboard of my WordPress instance. And let's zoom this in a little bit so you can see better. And I'm going to jump down to the plugins. It's pretty awesome. Um, Pardot does have a plugin for WordPress. We're going to go to Add New. And within here, if you've already downloaded the Pardot plugin, uh, you can upload the package right into here. Um, but you can also search for it right within WordPress's uh, plugin search. And let's go ahead and search for Pardot. And here's Pardot plugin. We're going to go ahead and hit install now. Awesome. Let's go ahead and activate. Perfect. So we just activated our plugin. Now we need to connect the two systems together and that's going to be under settings and it's relatively easy. So in the email, we can go ahead and put in our email. We want to go ahead and add in our password for the instance and then our user key area. So where might you find that user key area? It's going to be under the my user information. Uh, where you find that, if we jump into our Pardot instance, we'll have a little cogwheel here, and then we have settings, and let me grab that. And then you'll see right here our API user key. Mine is blurred out because I don't want to give people the API key, but you'll see your key right here. We're going to jump back into our Pardot instance. We're going to add in that user key, and then we're going to go ahead and save. Uh, Using HTTPS, you know, you can click that if you are using HTTPS. I am not, so I'm going to keep it unclicked, and I'm going to go ahead and save settings. Okay, great. So um, once that goes through, you'll see a little green area here saying authentication success successful, excuse me, settings saved. You'll also see um, campaign. This is for our tracking code. Generally, you're going to keep your website tracking unless you have something else there um, that you want to select for instead. So let's go ahead and click website tracking and save settings. And we're saved. Awesome. So now that we have integrated the, the two items together, both Pardot and WordPress, what can we do now in WordPress um, with this Pardot plugin? So let's go ahead and check out some of these items. So now that we have our uh, Pardot plugin now installed in WordPress, what does that mean? Well, the first thing it means is when we went ahead and selected what campaign do we want to use for the tracking code, it's our automatically going to place the, the tracking code on every single one of your pages and posts within WordPress. So you don't have to worry about doing that or asking your web developer to go and get that added into the shared footer for all your pages. It automatically does that for you. So you'll be able to start tracking visitors. I know mine says zero, but if we go down, we can see, okay, awesome. Um, it, it is tracking me here. Um, what else can we do? So uh, we can now add both forms and dynamic content automatically into our WordPress pages um, right from WordPress. We don't have to go into Pardot, copy the form, the iframe, and bring it into WordPress. Uh, we can do it all in from one area. So let's go ahead and add a new post. So within our post editor, you'll see in the WYSIWYG editor here that I have a new icon and it's the Pardot icon. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and this is going to bring up a box. Within this box, we'll be able to select either forms or dynamic content. I don't have any dynamic content set up yet. However, let's go ahead and jump into our forms. We have the standard form that Pardot goes ahead and um, creates for us with our Pardot instance, and then I created a real quick sample form. Um, I'm going to select the standard form for now, and then I'm going to hit OK. We can add in the height, the width, and the class. You know, for right now, I'm just going to put in 100% and 100%. The classes, if you want to add in any extra CSS classes, I do not at the time. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and we'll see the code right here, just plop down. So this is our standard form. I'm going to go ahead and update. 
and I'm going to jump over, new link. Awesome, here's our standard form. You can see here that even though we set it at 100%, and it creates this little um, scroll bar right here, and ah, I don't like that, I don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump back in here, and instead of having my height as 100%, I'm gonna go ahead and just put 500 pixels and update. Now that our form has updated, let's go ahead and jump over here. And great, I mean, we have a little bit of space right here. That's okay. Um, we can definitely go back and tweak as needed. So let's go ahead and fill this out real quick. Kelly Meta and Kelly at metamarketing.com, company Meta Marketing. And I'm gonna go ahead and submit. We have our little thank you for filling out the form. Let's jump back into Pardot real quick and refresh here and look at our standard form. Boom, there I am. Awesome, so now you know your forms are working good in Pardot and um, I already pushed a lead right over here and let's go ahead and jump back here. And so that's pretty easy. You can take the same code and if you wanted to have this on your sidebar, you can definitely go into your appearance and widgets and you can go ahead and add this into the sidebar. We do have an area here for Pardot dynamic content and Pardot forms. So if I wanted to grab my Pardot forms and have this for my, let's just say blog sidebar, I can select what form, I want my standard form, I can give a title. So if we wanna be like, you know, fill out this form for more information, we can do that. Again, you can set the height and the width, and you can also have your class in here. Go ahead and save, and then it would be on your blog sidebar. So really, really useful uh, for your marketing team um, to not have to always go to their web developers and say, hey, here's an iframe code. You're now able to integrate Pardot right into WordPress, grab in your Pardot forms, grab in your dynamic content, all without having to bug your web developer.